Hello everyone, this is Dart, and it looks like the very next day after I posted a video wondering about nerfs to Marksman, the full changes to the Hunter class in 7.1.5 were finally unveiled. Let's jump right in and find out what's what. For Beast Mastery, Dire Frenzy, the cooldown on this has been changed from a 15 second recharge to a 12 second recharge. Okay, that's good. It makes Dire Frenzy a little bit more desirable in open world content and a lot more desirable in PvP or a raid setting. Marksmanship. The blue post relevant to this reads, We agree with players that marksmanship currently relies far too much on patient sniper, not only to do good damage, but also to make the rotation feel fun and rewarding. As such, we're changing baseline vulnerability to essentially bake in Patient Sniper and adding a new Patient Sniper talent in its place. We are also adjusting some talents to allow for more diversity within talent rows and reflect the change to the base rotation. In particular, the level 100 row. While Sidewinders was commonly used in all situations, for its effects on the rotation, we'd rather the base rotation felt fluid on its own, and Sidewinders was a talent focused on the wide area cleave that is its most clear purpose. Among other changes to help with this, Marked Shot no longer requires the targets to have vulnerable to do strong damage, so builds without Sidewinders will be able to use it more effectively. So what exactly does this mean? It means that for Patient Sniper, if you take the new talent, you'll be receiving a net 15% damage buff to aimed and marked shot. If, and I stress the if here, if they incorporated the ability exactly as it was, as it was into vulnerability. However, for Sidewinders, vulnerability is still gone. So for rota rotation stability, you're going to need to use Thazdora's Windburst Artifact ability in conjunction with Mark of the Windrunner to apply Vulnerable on demand for burst damage. My guess is that you're going to want to save this to use whenever lock and load procs because a 20 second cooldown is still a long time during a fight to wait for Windburst to cycle. The bottom line is that they're giving Marksman Hunters a small buff while vulnerability is active, but we're removing a lot of the uptime for that effect and only giving us a narrower window as to when we can benefit from that effect. Talents. Explosive Shot. The cost changed from none to 20 focus. Under Honor Talents, Freezing Arrow has been removed. Sniper Shot. Cooldown changed from six seconds to none. Overall, not a lot of love here. I'm guessing we weren't using sniper shot enough to suit the devs. Shame on us. For survival, <clears throat> pardon me, the blue post reads, survival's most notable addition is some new gameplay for traps. As all hunters will once again have traps in 7.1.5, we want to make sure that survival still feels like the master of traps. In particular, we want to restore the concept of baiting enemies into traps as opposed to merely dropping them at their feet for an immediate effect. A new survival passive will grant all your traps an added effect if an enemy is led into the trap after it is placed, encouraging you to anticipate the movement of an enemy or coordinate with your tank and group content. Talents further enhance this, allowing you to increase the bonus in situations where you can reliably make use of it, or to use a new effect on Steel Trap to single-handedly eliminate enemies who walk into it of their own accord. Okay, when I said during my most recent Survival Hunter guide that it was a novelty spec and needed attention from the devs to be viable, this is absolutely not what I had in mind. I don't know, maybe none of the developers play a hunter currently, or maybe they'd realize that survival hunters are melee. You don't have a lot of time during a boss fight to run all over the map dropping traps. Add to this, survival hunters have the most complicated rotation for the least damage throughput of any melee class. So killing your deeps to drop a few traps? Yeah, bad. Maybe they intend this 
to be a pre-combat bonus thing or make or to make the spec more appealing in PvP. I still don't feel this really addresses the core issues with survival. As far as specific talent changes go, for specialization talents, explosive trap. The range has changed from 5 yards to 40 yards. Freezing trap and tar trap. The cooldown has changed from 30 seconds to 40 seconds. Under talents, expert trapper. For tar trap, enemies moving through the tar have a chance to be rooted in place until canceled. Improved traps has been removed. All right, the thing about an explosive trap is nice. The cooldown increases on the other two, not so much. The change to tar traps effect duration is interesting. I assume that means until somebody purges it, dispels it, uses hand of freedom, something like that. That's nice. Improved trap removed, I assume that's because it's turning into a passive, so probably no big deal there. Overall, it'll be nice to see utility return to the Hunter class in the form of traps. General Hunter Talents Far Strider. This is for Beast Mastery and Marksman. The ability Critical Strikes have a 15% chance to reset the remaining cooldown on either Disengage or Harpoon. And this is up from 10%. Okay, not bad. Overall, it looks like Beastmaster Hunters come out slightly ahead. Survival gains more utility, which may not help them in PvE, but that may not be what the de developers are going for. They may be trying to put together a spec that will do a better job in PvP play. And Marksmen aren't nerfed as much as everybody, myself included, feared they would be. It's going to take some time on a training dummy to sort out exactly where things stand, but for now I think we can all breathe a sigh of, okay, this is bad, I don't want to say relief, and I don't want to say disgust. Boredom doesn't really fit. We can all breathe a sigh of air. There we go. I want to know what you think. Please leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe if you haven't, once again, this is Dart. Good luck. Have fun.